Hello, welcome to Let's Parroting with Serena English video. Here, I'm going to give you another daily English expression that contains of some expressions in the daily conversations. I'd like to share a little hint on how to improve learning a language. And you know, there isn't a shortcut to learn a language. The only way is do practice every day. So try to set one or two hours aside for your practicing. If it is yet too long for you, then plan at least for 30 minutes. I mean, every day, needless to say. And before we go any further, I would appreciate if you subscribe this channel and give me a thumb up. It helps me a lot. Let's get started. Let's parroting 24. Change of pace. Change of pace. Change of pace. Besides this, I believe you heard about for a change, right? So we also use that for a change of pace. Change of pace. In Korean, 기분 전환으로. 기분 전환으로. 기분 전환으로. Change of pace. Do not pronounce change of pace. Don't say like that, okay? Now repeat again. Change of pace for a change. 기분 전환으로. Next, before we go ahead with the whole chapter, I want you to practice some expressions here, useful expressions first, okay? Not many, just a few. See, number one, 삼계탕. 삼계탕. 삼계탕 is in Korean, but now we express in English, ginseng chicken soup. Most of foreigners, they wonder, what does 삼계탕 mean? Means ginseng chicken soup. Number two, dining out. Dining out. Or you can say like, eat out. Eat out. Eat out. Alright, means 외식. Eat out. 외식. Number three, take a stroll. Take a stroll. Take a stroll. Take a stroll means in Korean, 산책하다. 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 Number four, change of pace. Change of pace. Change of pace. In Korean, 기분 전환. 기분 전환. 기분 전환. Change of pace. Well done. Now next, we're going to continue with the three expressions. Three expressions by using for a change or a change of pace, all right? Number one, I'll cut my hair short. I'll cut my hair short. I'll cut my hair short just for a change. I'll cut my hair short just for a change. 머리를 짧게 자르려고 그냥 기분 전환으로. 머리를 짧게 자르려고 자르려고 그냥 기분 전환으로. I repeat Korean one more time. 머리를 짧게 자르려고 그냥 기분 전환으로. I'll cut my hair short just for a change. Number two. Let's take a stroll for a change of pace. Let's take a stroll for a change of pace. Let's take a stroll for a change of pace. 기분 전원 겸 산책이나 합시다. 기분 전원 겸 산책이나 합시다. 기분 전원 겸 산책이나 합시다. Let's take a stroll for a change of pace. Number three. How about dining out for a change of pace? How about dining out for a change of pace? How about dining out for a change of pace? In Korean, 기분 전환으로 외식하는 게 어때? 기분 전환으로 외식하는 게 어때? 기분 전환으로 외식하는 게 어때? How about dining out for a change of pace? Great, we've just done with three English expressions. Next, we're going to practice a short dialogue between A and B. A said, what are we having for dinner tonight? What are we having for dinner tonight? What are we having for dinner tonight? 
오늘 저녁 뭐 먹지? 오늘 저녁 뭐 먹지? 오늘 저녁 뭐 먹지? What are we having for dinner tonight? B said, Dinner? How about 삼계탕? For a change of pace. Dinner? How about 삼계탕? For a change of pace. Dinner? How about 삼계탕? For a change of pace. 저녁? 삼계탕 어때? 기분 전환으로. 저녁? 삼계탕 어때? 기분 전환으로. 저녁? 삼계탕 어때? 기분 전환으로. A answered. Sounds great. Sounds great. Sounds great. 좋은 생각이야. 좋은 생각이야. 좋은 생각이야. Sounds great. Alright, well practiced. We've just done with a very short dialogue. And now the last step is you are going to practice one more time from Korean language to English. See whether you still remember or not. I bet you do. Let's see, give it a try. Number one, 외식. 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 In English, dining out. Dining out. Dining out. Dining out. Or you can say eat out. Eat out. Eat out. All right, number two, 산책. 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 In English, take a stroll. Take a stroll. Take a stroll. Or take a walk. Take a walk. Take a walk. Number three. 머리를 짧게 자르다. 머리를 짧게 자르다. 머리를 짧게 자르다. Cut the hair short. Cut the hair short. Cut the hair short. Number four. 기분 전환으로, 기분 전환으로, 기분 전환으로. In English, for a change, for a change of pace, for a change of pace, for a change of pace. Number five, 삼계탕, 삼계탕, 삼계탕. In English. Ginseng chicken soup. Ginseng chicken soup. Ginseng chicken soup. Well, we also call samgetang actually in English because samgetang itself is noun. Therefore, you just call samgetang. You go to Korean restaurant, you can say samgetang to say. All right, that's all for the moment. Keep parroting as much as you can. Don't forget to stay tuned. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.